What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another discussion about Boruto Naruto Next Generations, in particular the manga. And so, for the anime only fans, I'm gonna tell you right now, the video is gonna have some heavy spoilers in this video. And I do want to say that the Boruto chapter is coming out a couple days early this month, so it's pushing up the timetable of when I would normally talk about spoilers. So I'm gonna continue the trend of what I did last month, where in the days leading up to the chapter, I'm gonna talk about spoilers, and then about the next week after the chapter's out i'm gonna do chapter discussions so i really thank you for your support but i highly recommend not watching this video if you're not comfortable with spoilers so with all that being said if you're still here i'm gonna assume you're okay with me talking about spoilers so as i was taking another look at the boruto manga chapter that just came out last month the first thing that popped up in my head is where the hell is orochimaru doing all this talk of about the ososuke clan and you have amado saying that he knows the way to kill the ososuke and the reason why i think that that that's very interesting. The reason I think that's interesting is if you go back to, I believe, Boruto episode 72 or Boruto episode 73, Naruto has a line that is just mentioned in passing where Naruto says that, you know, they have to give Orochimaru a little bit extra breathing room during this time of new peace and uh, this time where things aren't as conflict ridden as they were when Naruto was growing up. And it's because Naruto really believes that Orochimaru, through his research, can help benefit Konoha, but most most importantly, he believes that in the battles that come when it comes to the Ososuke clan, that Orochimaru is going to play a vital role. And it's because Orochimaru is somebody that is very gifted when it comes to science. And I just want to say this. I really I really feel like they, they definitely passed on that intel that they got from Momoshiki, Kenshiki, the battles of Urushiki. I think Orochimaru has been given information on all of that. But now that you have a situation where they have a surefire way, according to Amado, to kill an Ososuke clan member i really feel like this is going to be the time that orochimaru is going to step up to a plate and we're going to see what the true fruits of his labor have borne for us because orochimaru is specifically working to find a way to stop the Ososuke when there's a future threat like naruto's being very defensive naruto believes that threat is coming sooner than later this is after versus momoshiki so naruto definitely believes that even though urushiki was still out there at the time that there could be more Ososuke. and so i want to kind of take this moment to say why I think we should definitely put some weight in the fact that Orochimaru is going to come up with Ososuke uh, killing weapon, if you will, or at least some type of way to neutralize them. So I know the theme is about science and Boruto and everything, but I think that Orochimaru is going to be our real MVP here because let's just look at Orochimaru's resume for a second. I really think people sleep on this guy a whole lot, whether it be how powerful he is, the fact that he's got Hashirama cells, and the fact that he's got uh, a Zetsu inside of him that beefed up his power I, I really feel like outside of the power I think people really don't understand how how much of a freaking genius he is so so the very first thing that we need to look at when it comes to Orochimaru as far as intelligence is that while this guy's genius according to Sasuke isn't on the same level as someone that's from the Uchiha clan or whatever the fact of the matter is is that Orochimaru when he puts his mind to something is arguably the smartest character in the Naruto series and I'm gonna stand by that I know somebody's gonna say well Shikamaru's smarter just miss me with all that for a second I'm gonna make a case for Orochimaru and the reason being is that let's just look at this for a second okay so Orochimaru this guy could not decipher the Uchiha stone tablet. He couldn't break it down. And yet, when he had his mindset on finding a way to uh, cultivate the Renegon, Orochimaru was able to do so. Orochimaru studied everything from the Uchiha body to the Sharingan to the Hashirama cells. He was tinkering with all that stuff. And when you look at it, even Madara said like, damn, you guys made some modifications to me. He was talking about the Hashirama stuff that was on him. But the fact of the matter is, is that Orochimaru was looking very, very closely at ways to recreate the Renegon. And you can argue whether or not he was actually successful, depending on your interpretation of what the actual text 
in the manga was, but I think that's pretty damn impressive. The fact that this guy did not have a lot of intel to go off of because he could not decipher the tablet, and yet he put together a lot of those pieces and it's because of his sheer brilliance. Now, the other thing is, it's like, let's just look at everything that Orochimaru as a character that we know him for, and let's look at how that actually mirrors with those Sasuke you're doing. So Orochimaru is a character who basically when he was first uh, introduced, he was obsessed with immortality. That's what the Ososuke are doing with their karma, being able to cheat death by basically giving somebody the karma seal, making them their vessel, and essentially get rebirth the same way that Orochimaru when even after he's been sealed away in the Tosca Blade, he's able to have himself brought back to life because people like Anko have his curse mark. So there's some similarities in there. And I think that once Orochimaru gets that information from Amado, how the karma seal works, I really feel like Orochimaru is going to have some type of a weapon or be able to create some type of a weapon that's going to be able to counter what those Sasuke do with the karma seal. Now, this is one other thing I kind of want to talk about here. So the other thing, though, is when you look at the other aspect of him, Orochimaru, we've seen this guy be able to literally create life because of his cloning and it's on a completely different level so i think that when you look at all these different matters when you look at all this i really feel like orochimaru is going to be able to create these weapons because we've seen time after time after time as long as it isn't something that the the final determination is the gap in power between himself like him and sasuke or something like that when orochimaru has his mind set to something orochimaru can very sneakily come up with ways to accomplish his goals. Now, while the Osasuki are freakishly powerful, given enough intel, if given the right opportunity, Orochimaru will come up with that weapon. But I wanna know from you guys, do you guys believe with me that essentially Orochimaru is gonna be one of these characters that's gonna play a vital role in the defeat of the Osasuki clan? What do you think his Osasuki clan killing weapon will be? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.